Hello everyone, in today's review we will be looking at the Ocean KG816. This is a single band 4 meter handheld. The transmit and receive frequency is from 66 to 88 megahertz. The 816 is available in VHF, UHF and in this case a lower VHF. This single band handheld radio is packed full of features. Now the, the list goes on from caller ID, uh, 199 channels, it does CTCS and DCS as well as scanning CTCS and DCS. So the full specification, you can read that off the website um, from the product page. But um, let's have a look at what's in the box. Here's an uh, English instructions manual for the KG816. A little wrist strap. A quite solid um, desktop charging pod. You can charge the battery on its own or charging the radio with the battery connected. This is the SMA female type antenna and it's for 66 to 88 megahertz. Now with this model you also get the UK 3 pin mains plug. Here is the ocean belt clip. Very sturdy, quite solid here as well. Here's the 816 radio itself. It's nice and compact. It feels well made. The plastic and everything looks good. And the information on the back says KG816 5 watt 66 to 87 decimal 995 megahertz. Then here's the battery that comes with the radio. This one is a 1,300 milliamp hours lithium ion battery. So on the front of the radio, you have a LCD display screen. Directly underneath that is the speaker with a microphone on the top left. A button here that activates the flashlight for the top of the radio and a small keypad here. The keys are not very big, considering well the size of the radio is small. So as you can imagine, on the side you have your PTT and two multifunction buttons here. And on the back of the radio, this is where you slide on your belt clip. The speaker and microphone connection is the same as other Ocean radios. In fact, same as Baofeng radios. Um, so you can program this radio uh, with the same programming cable and all the accessories will be compatible as well. In terms of the operation, it's pretty straightforward. You have your keypad for directly entering the frequency and you have the dial as well as the up and down button to change the frequencies up or down. Now the operations uh, manual is quite well written so you can work out uh, most of the functions by just going through the manual. When you press the menu button you have 23 different options. Now, the complex part of this is within that 23 options, you have sub menu systems. Now, obviously, for this one, the step one is quite easy to do. So you can go down to 625, 550, 25, 12.5k um, step. Enter. Press menu again to enter that. But when you get to a menu like number four, that's the transmit setting. When you go into that menu, you can see the TXP flashing, that's transmit power. Then you've got TOA, TOT, BCL, WN, that's for wide or narrow. We're still in menu number four, but this is where we need to set our wide uh, and narrow spacing here. Once you've set it, you can then go into other part of the transmit going to high or low. Enter. So leave this on high. Again, once you get to know these 23 different options, like for example, if you were to enter a CTCSS, you have to press menu key and change the sub menu system within number nine. So let's say CT CTCSS, that's what she said. 
and going to the different settings as required. When you finish, or if you don't need to make any change, press exit. So on the side of the radio, these two buttons here, the middle one will activate your FM radio here. And the lower key, the default setting is opening the squelch. So let's put all the good points together. This is a very small, compact radio. It doesn't cost a lot for the 4 meter band. It's really well made, good quality, and the functions that comes with the 816 is really, um, you know, justifies the price really well. In terms of negative points, I can't think of any at the moment because people will be buying this and they know they're getting a single band 4 meter radio rather than you know, if I complain about, oh, he hasn't got the 2 meter or the 70 centimeter, then I'll be wrong because you know it's a single band. So for someone who's looking for a 4 meter on its own, I think this radio will perform very well. Thank you very much for watching this review. If you have any question, please feel free to put it in the comment section of this video underneath. And if you're interested in a, a dual band version, so that's... Um, a 4 meter and a 2 meter or even the 2 and the 70 and feel free to check out my other videos on the Ocean KG UV 6D and the UV 2D in which both of them have the dual band facilities.